We are here today to honor the legend. And remember those few young men with hope in their hearts and wings on their heels. got a telegram and it just said he is coming and gave the time of the train who the hell is he i don't know sir some men change their times one man changed the world for all time my name is gandhi mohandas k gandhi well whoever you are we don't want you here i suggest you get back on that train before it leaves they seem to want me Columbia Pictures presents a Richard Attenborough film, Gandhi. 100,000 Englishmen simply cannot control 350 million Indians if those Indians refuse to cooperate. The story of one man whose voice spoke out for millions. To gain independence, we must prove worthy of it. From his humble beginnings. You're an ambitious man, Mr. Gandhi. I hope not. To his ultimate triumph. He was the conscience of all mankind. Where there's injustice, I've always believed in fighting. I will fast as a penance for my part in arousing such emotions, and I will not stop until they stop. His torment ended a nation's suffering. I remember that all through history, the way of truth and love has always won. His greatest weapon was peace. In this cause, I too am prepared to die. There is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. I want to change their minds, not kill them for weaknesses we all possess. We're required to stop it, and stop it we will. If you take my husband, I intend to speak in his place. I want to document coldly, rationally, what is being done here. I believe non-cooperation with evil is a duty and that British rule of India is evil. Nevertheless, it is my duty to sentence you to six years in prison. Since your arrest, the riots have hardly stopped. If we obtain our freedom by murder and bloodshed, I want no part of it. It went on and on into the night. Whatever moral ascendancy the West held was lost here today. Poverty is the worst form of violence. But do you really believe you could use non-violence against someone like Hitler? What you cannot do is accept injustice from Hitler or anyone. You must make the injustice visible. Gandhi. According to you, Mahatma, the great soul. Starring Martin Sheen. What if they don't arrest you? What if they don't react at all? Something for your notebook. The function of a civil resistor is to provoke response. Sir John Gielgud. Mr. Gandhi will find it takes a great deal more than a pinch of salt to bring down the British Empire. Edward Fox. My intention was to inflict a lesson that would have an impact throughout all India. Ian Charlson. What Mr. Gandhi has forced us to do 
is ask questions about ourselves. Candace Bergen. You're a temptress. Just an admirer. Nothing's more dangerous. Trevor Howard, John Mills, Rohini Hatangani, and introducing Ben Kingsley as Mohandas Gandhi. I am a Muslim, and a Hindu, and a Christian, and a Jew, and so are all of you. He offered the world a way out of madness. Men honored him. Women loved him. An empire feared him. A nation worshipped him. Long live Mahatma Gandhi! Long live Albert Einstein said, generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this, ever in flesh and blood, walked upon this earth. Gandhi, a world event. Emma Greenway Horton. I got some good news. What's that? I'm unofficially pregnant. You're not happy for me. I didn't get so mad if you're not happy. Shirley McLean is Aurora Greenway, her mother. Why should I? Why should I be happy about being a grandmother? Jack Nicholson is former astronaut Garrett Breedlove. Coming to terms. What is it, Mama? You are not special enough to overcome a bad marriage. <laughs> Listen to her. She's going crazy. Emma, your mother boycotted your wedding. She hates your husband. And she only holds you in medium esteem. <laughs> Mama, that's the first time I stopped hugging first. <laughs> your life going to get better if you keep having children with that man? What miracle is going to come along to rescue you? Wait over by the car, honey. No, come on. Wait over by the car, honey. But I want... Wait over by the car, honey. Now! 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 Nice boys. You're great with them, too. I don't really think he wants to have anything more to do with me. Is it because you wouldn't go to bed with him? On a first date, Emma? Oh, it's hardly a first date, Mother. I mean, you've been living 10 feet away from him for 15 years. Why don't you talk about the real reason? I don't, I don't know what you mean. Because it's been about that long since you've done it. I... I uh, was doing laps when you called. Sarah's gonna kill me. Relax, baby. No, it's gonna just, be pretty. Who do you think you're talking to like this? Don't you realize I'm a grandmother? <laughs> it's a strange thing that relatively and relatively late in life. I found that sex is so. 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 <laughs> so. Hello. Hello, Flat? Yes. Have you heard anything? Uh, no. And Emma hasn't called you either, then, huh? No. Let me know if you hear. And if you talk to Emma, don't sound as frightened as you do. I don't sound frightened. Deborah Winger. Shirley McLean. 
no, 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 you don't need outsiders now. Jack Nicholson. Please come. Yeah. Ellen, Ellen, this is Garrett. Oh, oh, the one. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Yes, well, your mother's really been looking forward to this, too. So, go ahead. Anything wrong, Garrett? No, no. I'll be over later. They're probably tired anyway and will get to sleep early, and uh, I'd like to get to bed early. <laughs> grandma! 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 Bye-bye. Terms of Endearment. Are we going to appall you with something confidential and disgusting? Let's hope so, because that is what you really like. Unconfessed crimes of buried wickedness. If that is what brings you to us, the prospect of hearing horrors, you shall not go unrewarded. I don't believe it. The whole city is talking. You hear it all over. What a story. What a scandal. What a comedy. What a tragedy. Incredible. I don't believe it. Who can believe it? What horrors have you heard? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us at once. Tell us about Wolfgang. Amadeus. Mozart. Mozart. Mozart? <laughs> How good is he? This Mozart. He's remarkable. He's an unprincipled, spoiled, conceited brat. I'm a vulgar man. But I assure you, my music is not. He is divinely inspired. He is arrogant, vulgar, obscene. He creates music for the gods. He is passionate. He burns with fire. He is an angel. He is a devil. He claimed he'd been poisoned. Some said he accused a man. Some said the man was Salieri. Salieri? Salieri. I don't believe it. All the same. Could it be possible? Did Salieri do it after all? Did he murder Amadeus? <laughs> Amadeus, the man, the music, the magic, the madness, the murder, the mystery, the motion picture. Amadeus, everything you've heard is true. the new lord of 10,000 years. You will be the son of heaven. At the age of three, he ascended to the dragon throne. As a boy, he was the absolute ruler of imperial China. Stop! The emperor will walk. His life filled with sights and sounds no other human being on Earth could experience. I think the Emperor is the loneliest boy on Earth. I want a modern wife, Johnston, who speaks English and French, and who can dance the quick step. As a man, he became its captive. I do not want to escape anymore. I want to rule. A victim of its violent history. I stop! I am accused of being a traitor, a collaborator, and a counter revolutionary. It is not an accusation! A prisoner of his own power. Do you think a man can become emperor again? Yes. The Japanese. They are getting closer to him every day. He was Pu Yi. Lord of 10,000 years. 10,000 years! The last emperor.
Bernardo Bertolucci's The Last Emperor. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. That's me drive slow on the driveway. Chris, only 28 miles on the odometer since I drove it a week ago last Saturday. It should be more than 28 miles. Hey, what is this? Who is this guy? Raymond is your brother. My brother? I, I don't have a brother. <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. You know how to drive? Yeah. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond! You never, never touch the steering wheel when I'm driving. Do you hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Of course, I don't have my underwear. What? Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Now hear the word of the Lord. You use you're using me. You use everybody. I'm using Raymond. Raymond! Raymond, am I using you? Am I using you, Raymond? Yeah. Shut up! He is answering a question from a half hour ago. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. Now hear the word of the Lord. Quite a trip, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. What happened this past week? Dance with Charlie Babble. You want to learn how to dance? Yeah. Dance with your brother? I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a little silly. What else did you do? Kiss Susanna. Did you enjoy kissing a woman? I don't know. How was that? Wet. <laughs> Wet? Yeah. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise, in a Barry Levinson film. I like having you for my brother. I'm an excellent driver. I <laughs> hear. 